Seth adds a lot of jokes. He he has a great joke in in one scene where you just see uh, a hat rack in the back, and Lincoln has eight stovepipe hats hanging on it. But I think most of the anachronisms came from me. During your stay here, you'll be strapped in bed with no drugs, no alcohol, and your roommate will be Chevy Chase. No! They just feel natural. Yeah, why not? Why isn't Lincoln at a movie watching Al Pacino play him? And why doesn't he have a candlestick phone? And it seems to be the 1860s, but people know who Chevy Chase is, and they hate him then, too. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend! <laughs> Well, it all seems historically accurate. The end of Lincoln's uh, got a great uh, Al Pacino impersonation coming in there and a lot of ass jokes, so stay tuned. Abraham Lincoln is deserving of glory, but when he starts drinking, it's a whole different story. The great emancipator becomes an irritator. He's a rabbit irishator. And a public masturbator. Abraham Lincoln, hard drinking Lincoln, stinking drunk Lincoln. Like me. Dear God, I take forever to load. Abe Lincoln's ass. At last, a film glorifying my most shapely endowments. I don't think it's about your... Oh, no, don't be jealous. Someday they'll make a movie about your ass. Of course, it'll have to be an IMAX. <laughs> you can fool all of the people some of the time, but you can't fool me, baby! Say hello to my little friend! Well, it all seems historically accurate. When are they going to get to my ass? Will you stop talking about your ass? I'm not talking about my ass. You're talking about my ass. Speaking of my ass, i got to go drop a Lincoln log. Ugh. Boy, I thought that civil war would never end. <laughs> Hoo-ah! Oh, mission accomplished. So, what a mess. Oh, nothing. Ow! You gotta admit, it is a nice ass.